today I've decided to detect this baseball field. Let me show you around. There it is. I was here before. It was redone, likely. I haven't found anything to indicate otherwise. Uh, but I decided to come here today just to just hunt a little lovely day. Anyway, uh, let me turn you around and we'll look at my first find. There it is. So 27, 28. We got ourselves a car. Kind of looks older, but I think it's not old. What does it say? I don't know what it says. It says Ford on the side. Some kind of a truck, I guess, with a monster engine. Cool. Cool find to start. All right, so after about 20, 25 minutes, I call it quits. Uh, must be fairly regularly hit by someone. Uh, I did find a buck 50. Um, I think buck 50, another car. Nothing much really. Bunch of cans law, large cans law. Um, anyway, on to the next. All right, so. A new place well I was here before I did find a couple dimes on another end but uh, this area was really wet in the spring so I was gonna come back and they cut the grass for me today so hopefully we can wiggle something out of here hopefully I think uh, near that playground over there I found a uh, couple older pennies so Let's see. All right, looks to be a good call. Just right there, got 67 penny. Shadow signal, only ringing like a penny. Look at this. Looks like we have a quarter of some sort. Is this new quarter? Does it not appear to be silver? On the first glance, yeah. Oh, it's a nickel 76. There must be a penny with it somewhere. Let's take a look. No, or I might be still in 40 kilohertz. Yes, I am in 40, 40 kilohertz. I was gonna switch, but I forgot. Well, I guess that's good. I got a nickel. Awesome. All right. I think I'm on the board. I walked onto solid 31. Very peachy tone. Look what popped off. About three inches down. We may have a silver ring. Yeah, definitely. Solid hunker too. Look at this. That is pretty solid. has some kind of engraving let's see Eloisa Eloisa where's the nine to five it's got to be there somewhere. Anyway, that's all I can see right now. It's got to be silver. 
by the color, by the sand from the ground. Awesome. It's not super heavy. Maybe six, seven gram. Sweet, happy with that. All right, so keep walking the lines. Just got the, I thought I'm digging a penny, but it's ringing 25. I'm still in 40. Some kind of a weird wire type of a ring. Oh, where did it go? Right there. Very interesting. Let's look at it in the sand. It's possibly, let's see, there's no markings. There's possibility this wire is silver. Not a lot of it, but uh, it's a possibility. Can't really tell. It need to be tested. Sweet. Second ring. All right. I just called Mark in excitement. We switched to this park that uh, Mark says hi. All right. Let this me catch exciting. my breath. Sorry? This is exciting. Something you've never oh, done before. <laughs> something I never dug before. I just got a kind of penny like signal. A little bit one way, this way, uh, a little iffy. I pulled some dirt because I was not expecting anything good. I pulled some dirt, I moved it aside, big coin showed up. I know what it is now. Look at this half dollar. And I, I, it's the one that I didn't get. What I didn't get? KG5. Let's just say it's American. Oh, wow. Um, what? So walking. No, that's French. That's not American. That's French coin. That's why. Oh, it might not be silver. I think it is. It's a French coin. Two francs. Yeah, I have one of these. Wow. Well, still back at Lister. 1918. What? 1918 two francs awesome I actually I had one I, I sold the, a few I thought that was a walking for sure yeah because they're, they're similar there, right yeah. they're kind of similar I thought it was a walker but hey 1918 two francs I should have stayed on this line <laughs> yeah you just uh, walk past that you know what it wasn't an easy signal happy with this 1918 two franc coin definitely silver first actually first silver french silver that i ever dug so it's still back at lister sort of i never expected that one hey, but any any coin silver. like this is on my bucket list yeah <laughs> happy with this one awesome is there a mint mark i don't know where the mint mark comes in I don't think they they had mint marks. Anyway, nice score. Let's continue on. All right, just next door. George the sixth, Danny. This sounded very iffy. There's a couple things still left here. Nineteen thirty-eight, early one. Sweet, was sounding rather low. All right, Mike, uh, Mark left. I just got about pinpointer deep signal. Sounded like a penny. But it looks like a bigger coin. It's probably coronation token, but uh, no, it's a British penny. British penny. I see King George. I just got one recently from 1921. How old is this one? K 
can't really see it's more corroded 36 all right can be 56 it's either 30 it's probably 36 1936 awesome kg last year of kg6 kg5 sweet all right so I decided to stop by the soccer field uh, whenever I pass by I see a lot of people playing here so far I got a nickel I got a Toronto Transit Commission token worth three bucks if you can still use it and I walked about two-thirds of the field uh, just the mid section I, uh, I skipped the sides uh, I just walked onto 21 signal let's see looks like a ring Looks like a junkie ring, unfortunately. No cigar for me. Junk ring. All right, I'll keep going for a little bit, then I move to the park next door. All right, so I decided to go back to the park that I got the two francs for, from. So far, really doing quite miserable. I think I got a one weedy right there can opener just got a solid uh, I'm walking around for like for what seems miles without a good signal anyway I just got the uh, solid 30 looks like a stopper or a pocket watch rusty Probably will know the brand. I don't think it's silver. Unlikely. But we'll take a look at home. Yeah, could be. Gonna clean the case and see. Probably silver plated. But this edge looks good. We'll see. Hello everyone. So I'm uh, waiting for Mark, just parked the car at the, the schools from 50s, 60s. Uh, there's a couple schools in the field in between. Uh, got a couple of modern pennies. Had a penny signal, dug it up. Look at this, something bigger showed up. We're going British. 1921 one penny King George the fifth awesome happy to get that one. Oh, mark is here while I'm filming all right we'll see you on the next all right so Marky Mark is here all right so I didn't really dig much this is, uh, I got that somewhere else. I got uh, a $2 coin. Where is it? Bunch of little knickknacks right there in the bag. But anyway, I got a penny signal, but kind of a bit jumping and sending slightly better. It wasn't even very deep. I see a silver edge right there. Yeah, we got Silver Edge. Young Lizzie. 1953, the first year of Liz. Before that was King George VI. Awesome. Happy. Congrats. All right, time for a recap. I, uh, two hands. I managed to get enough stuff 
for a full board as you can see let's uh, quickly look it over uh, there wasn't too many special things so I don't usually film the the cloud I think I got about uh, $15 worth of cloud quite a bit of cloud even even got this little piece that's from the inside of a Canadian two dollar coin that was a heartbreaker I thought I'm, I'm at first I thought I'm uh, getting a, a beat up gold coin but no such luck uh, in other finds uh, can opener fidget spinner I used to find more of these but uh, like five years ago but uh, they're no longer that popular uh, this one's been sitting there probably for a little while uh, got a little corrosion going a uh, few cars this one's a little bit older but also a little bit more beat up there's no no bottom it's hot rod it's pretty came up in pretty good condition it's not old but uh, let's see what it says here 1941 Ford pickup whatever else it says there hot wheels it's pretty nice uh, nice little tie the wheels are still sp spinning okay a little off a little of balance but uh, they're spinning uh, and another cheap one uh, other interesting items this I don't really know what that's from could be like a drawer pool or something it is fairly heavy could be an older piece I really have no idea same for these things could be some some kind of electrical fastener possibly or just a piece of pipe I have no idea what this brass piece is from uh, dog tag I get more dog tags I just didn't show them uh, this uh, pocket watch or a stopper possibly the top looks kind of like a stopper it's rusty was silver plated at one time there is no distinguishing marks on it still it's always cool to find one of these uh, did get uh, cut nickel and it's it was an older one I think it's you can see the younger Elizabeth top of younger Elizabeth's had did get the TDC token Toronto Transit Commission value three dollars did get a bunch of junk jewelry unfortunately this ring I thought it might have been homemade silver wire ring but I think it's uh, the wire was uh, plated big hunker and uh, some aluminum Ukrainian uh, religious medallion I did hack it a little bit it says Spasi uh, Ukraino I can read Cyrillic a little bit Well, not a little bit. I learned Russian for for a while, so Bogorodi Bogorodice Oh well, Spasi Spasinas something. That's where I scratch prayer something Bogorodzice uh, well religious medallion I tried my best to 
to read it one that attempt to tr translate it two, uh, two hands in a row I've been getting a British penny this one's 1921 and this one's 1936 and uh, on the one silver dime from uh, a place Mark pounded. Don't remember the year. 1953 no, or 59, 59, I think. Let's be sure and take a closer look. Might be eight, 58 actually. Um, this silver ring, ring pretty nice I think seven grams too bad it has a name in it this was uh, really quite close to a road or a sidewalk I don't think uh, anyone would have thought anything was lost in that area but uh, you just never know you just have to swing over it uh, could barely find a penny there and uh, two francs from a very trashy section of a uh, uh, park from uh, I think it goes back to late 30s it was been totally haunted but uh, uh, still managed to pull one last one probably and it's a good one my first ever French silver coin and that wraps it up and I'll see you on the next 9 to finder adventure take care happy hunting have a great week